Yeah, you did quite a few preparations and rehearsals with uh, the Alex at the house, going through the scenes, and then quite a few of the rehearsals I didn't really make it to because my character was kind of isolated off with, uh, you generally working just with Dan, so a lot of the other scenes there wasn't too much for rehearsal to do because Dan wasn't around, so we did a lot of it there, but also a decent amount of the scenes where I was interacting with the Alex, we did it uh, her place. Yeah, really nervous. Trying not to look at it was like the hardest thing of it because it's there and everything's kind of focused around it, but you're trying to act like it's not there. So that was the hardest part was trying to ignore the fact the camera was there and kind of go over your stuff over and over. But the hardest thing was not trying to acknowledge the camera. It was great. It was great. I actually, like I said to be honest, I actually dreaded it getting ready for it and the whole work up to it. But once it started, as soon as it got past that very first scene, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, it was great. I mean, it was, acting with everybody was really good, it was real natural. I think it, what really made it great was that we all knew each other going into it, so you didn't really feel self-conscious. It wasn't like anybody was kind of coming down on you the whole time. We were all kind of going through it together. We all knew each other. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely more relaxed than I thought it was. and. Like Scott and Dan and all those guys were great. They were real, made everything real comfortable, real easy to do. The killing scene wasn't bad because it was so much action going on, so it kind of moved and carried its own momentum. I thought the harder scenes were the scenes where, the harder scene I definitely know of was when I came up the stairs and James told me that he'd kill uh, Thomas. And then at that point, that was a really awkward interaction for me and for me and uh, uh, James. But after that, the other scenes were good because there was so much going on. My character had a lot of action-esque type scenes, so there was always a lot going on, so it wasn't really one-on-one -on -one interactions. Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I guess... That's a great question. I would say more, definitely wasn't a good guy. He had a different set of beliefs and a different uh, way of going about things. Fairly honorable in a twisted way. So among his group, he was probably a fairly honorable guy, which sounds stupid because everything he did was dishonorable, but in his belief systems he had, he stuck with them, worked through them. And so on that end, I would say not honorable, but Honest, in a <laughs> twisted way. Good, because I mean, the instruction was so well and the way Bionix had it worked out in her head and James had it worked out in his head, it was really easy because you were given such a good structure to follow through as opposed to just, you know, go do this, go do that. It was pretty well laid out. They had exactly what they wanted and Knowing what they wanted made it real easy to do as opposed to, well, you go ahead and figure it out. You know, it wasn't, there was no ad living, there was some, but for the most part it was laid out and it was easy to follow through their guidelines. Honestly, the, the biggest thing was how, and it's outside the movie, but it was like how the entire, your guys' family worked together and everybody had a common goal. It was really good to see like everybody rallied behind. So it's really not movie based, but it was watching your guys' family interact and, and move forward towards a common goal, which was, you know, watching everybody had a piece of the pie and everybody was trying to help move it forward. That was really good. Um, from a movie standpoint, the one thing I'll always remember was when I punched Scott right in the face. <laughs> that area is still burned in my head. That was one thing I'll always remember about the production. Yeah, honestly, Dan was just a great, goofy guy. So it was real easy, real comfortable. He kind of would play off of me more so than I would him because he's done a little bit more of this. So he did a really good job of adapting to me, which probably made our interaction look a little more natural. And off camera, he was a goofy guy, so it was real natural to work with him and goof around with him. The bar scene. The bar scene. Playing black, uh, playing uh, cards. That was a lot of fun. 
And I think that the reason that was the most fun was because it was the first one we did here. So we kind of practiced it over and over and over. It just became more and more natural. And that really evolved on itself, which that was a good scene. didn't move the camera, but that's pretty much made it everywhere. So <laughs> that started out as nobody knowing, but since I've seen my backside all over the place. Somebody I didn't know at all. I mean, I knew her, I think I met her once, and then after that was down there. Um, actually, I think that was a good thing, because had I known her, I think it would have been a little more awkward. But the fact that I didn't know her, she didn't know me, we kind of just played off each other and moved forward as opposed to, you know, somebody you're real comfortable with be like trying to kiss your sister as opposed to a complete stranger. Mm -hmm. So I think it it was definitely awkward at first and the first couple scenes, I'm sure you can tell, we looked like we had no idea what we were doing. But once we got more kind of past the first couple, I think it was better because had I known her real well, I think it would have been a little more uncomfortable as opposed to just a complete stranger that I'm not gonna probably see. Ugh, I'm dreading it. I am really dreading it. Um, I'm gonna think I sound stupid. Uh, you know, my voice, I'm gonna think sounds bad. I'm, I don't know, I think it's gonna be awkward and weird. I don't know how, like I wanna see it, but I also don't wanna see it, cause I don't, yeah, and then hearing you know the reviews, everybody said, "Oh, it looks good, it looks good." I just know myself, and I just think I'll be real critical of myself, and you know, think, "Oh God, I'm so stupid, I can't." I sound so terrible, but I'm excited. So excited, but still nervous to see it. No, I did not expect that at all. Yeah, that caught me by surprise at how long that first night of filming was, and how many hours, and it, it took. I was really surprised because. I didn't realize I had to shoot it from so many different angles and, and moving the lighting and changing everything. But I, I, like I said, I haven't seen the end result, so I'm sure it's pretty amazing, but I was definitely not anticipating how much time went into every single scene. Oh my God. Um, see, it'd be something that I don't, like what went into this movie being made is truly incredible like everything behind the scenes that the family went through and everybody moved forward it's something no one will ever know because they didn't see it but everybody rallying behind and pushing it forward is something that is it's admirable it's incredible watching the whole thing your guys whole family move forward and push the project forward so that's something no one will ever know because you didn't see it but it was really an incredible thing to see come together to get it done Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I am really surprised at I'm really surprised at how much I liked it. It, it. it was an odd dichotomy because I hated doing the practice. I hated doing everything. I dreaded getting into it, getting into it. Two seconds into it, loved it. Could have done it for hours and hours and hours. But like coming to rehearsal, I was like, ah oh, man, it's, it's awkward. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Da, 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 da. And how's the scene go? As soon as he, I never wanted the scenes to end. I wanted to keep going and going and going. But the work up to it was really one of those things where you, getting the ball rolling. As soon as it got even a quarter way rolling, it was awesome. It was great all the way through. 